lovely little 2500 and the uh, 1100 down there in what they call the hole in the wall. It's a section of the rail that's going underneath spur 208. Well, it's a, it was a real tight fit. We had to uh, literally crawl down in this hole that they had dug out for us to get the cranes in. They backed the beams down the hill as far as they could, tried to come across the tracks, and then I had to scope out pretty much flat to grab a hold of the beam on my end, and 1100 grabbed a hold of his as we worked together to lift it up, suck in, boom up, and track back so that we could clear the caps to get the beam set because we had probably about five or six foot of head clearance on top by the time we got them up around the caps. Because technically they closed the rail at four o'clock this morning and then they're opening the rail back up at eight. We had to have the beam set and the cranes out of there so the contractor could come in and pull all those boards off the rail. So literally we had about two and a half hours of actual work time for the beams to get the beam set. So the contractor would get in there and get his mat set for the crane, get his boards across the rail for the truck. Us pick the beams, set them, and then get out of the way and the contractor would get all of this wood and mats and everything picked back up. We had four hours. The crane handled real good. Like I said, whenever I had to scope out the tile onto the beam because he couldn't get it up close enough to me, and uh, while we was going to set it in place, I had to boom up, scope in, hold my load, and walk back in order to get the beam set. And it never bogged down one time. It's all smooth, coming in and out. Pretty easy machine to run. Tonight, we only set four beams. They're box beams. Uh, they weighed 120,000 total. They had 60,000 on my end. And the most difficult part of this job was trying to get down in the hole because it was a real tight fit and didn't have a whole lot of room to maneuver back and forth on my end. Uh, that's why we put the bigger crane on my side so that I could reach across the tracks and grab the beams. And we put the smaller crane on the other side. He had a little bit more room to walk back and forth. And he had to, uh, pretty much once I got down in there and got set up, I could only travel about 10 feet forward and backwards. Yeah, and that's about all the room I had. It was a, it was a pretty steep hill that we had to climb up to get down to the hole and then to climb down in the hole. And I was actually quite surprised at how well the machine handled being a crane this size and how steep that hill was. The climb, uh, I kind of figured it would bog down a little bit and have a little bit of trouble getting up, but it didn't budge at all. Pretty sure this thing can probably climb straight over a wall.